as is customary, we are here. Here at Finnegan's, first stop. We traditionally always kick off HHN with yep. a drink at Finnegan's. It just sort of is, I don't know, it's just something that we've done from year it's one. It's a great way to we've start for us. They have a new entrance this year for New York, and you're entering over at Minions Cafe. And boy, was that a change, because you really will just walk right in the gates and go straight to get in the New York line. Don't do it like we did and go the other way, thinking that the entrance is at that end. So, heads up. However, boy, they were quick. They were, they were quick. The line moved very quickly. It was a big line. It was awesome. But I mean, like, almost nonstop walking. Yeah. It was really good. No bracelets this year for stay in spring, right. so that They might good. have them if you're like in here when you check in. Yeah, that's possible too. Yeah. But Which is what we usually like to do. So, anyway, we are here. We're going to get our first drink. We're really excited to kick off tonight. It's HHN 33. All right, here we go. Do this. Lines are moving. Excited? I'm ready. Good. Are you ready? I'm ready, baby. Okay, here we go. This is uh, first up Twilight Tavern. Now, this is in the New York Stand Scream zone, so we're gra grabbing some quick bites early in the night or day, however you want to call it. Uh, first up, we have uh, In the Fog Fish and Chips, crispy beer batter cotton nuggets, malt vinegar aioli, and pub fries. So, it looks like a nice, nice chunky, nuggety. Uh, cod chips here. Get a little bit of lemon, put it on here. So I, I really love fish and chips, just uh, the appearance. The breading seems nice and light, which I totally I agree. Really, I mean, it looks really nice. And, and they light. smell they really good. They yeah, feel like light that. as well. So I'm and they're nice, like meaty, you know, yeah. they're not thin. Thick. Yeah. So well, it I'll seems to be a really there. good heavy meat to breading ratio, which I'm a huge fan of with batters. Mm. All right. Mm. That is good. That is good. It's a really solid fish and chip. Really nice crisp, nice uh, cod flavor. Like we said, it was meaty, so you get a lot of that good meat in there. The aioli, I didn't pick up too much of that uh, flavor in there, but it was a decent compliment. It's just a little bit creamy. Uh, adds yeah. a little, little bit of garlic flair to it. Very nice. Um, Try the one of the bad. chips and let me know how that I'll is. Try one of the chips. Ooh, the chips matter, like man. Fair chip. Ooh, that breeze is nice. All right. No, yeah. I just think it's really well done. If you have somebody who, you know, it's not adventurous, it's fish and chips, but it's really well done. I think yeah. the only thing that would have been good, and maybe we just didn't notice, is if out there did they have malt vinegar that you could have. Because it said malt vinegar aioli. Oh, I didn't taste, yeah, okay. I didn't taste any of the malt vinegar. I wonder if they vinegar. just had regular up there. I bet you before the end of the season they'll have a yeah, bottle up there because so many you people. You add some malt vinegar to this. Woo! Over the top, yeah. Big All right, I'm having the forbidden falafel from over there at the Twilight Tavern. And this is going to be a regular falafel. It has, let me look here, a tomato, cucumber salad, tzatziki sauce inside of a warm pita. So it looks really good to me, though. I love a good falafel. It's nice that they have this option. I haven't tried the fish and chips yet. Manny was all over that one, so. And we all see what happened there. We got so some help. Let me go ahead and try this. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. This is great. It's getting all that herbal flavor. The spices. The consistency is right on. The pita is soft and pillowy. It looks like it. Yeah, the tzatziki is cold, fresh. Cucumbers are crisp. Oh yeah, this will be one I'll grab every time. If you're a fan of falafel, I mean, is it the best falafel I've ever had? No, but am I impressed that there's something this good and fresh and yummy? You know, as part of the HHN offerings, you know? I think it puts a twisted tater to shame. So I'm definitely in for this. It's very, very good. Very nice. Let me just 
show everybody first because the lines were so long, as you can see everybody's walking by us here, it is stay and scream. So this area gets a little tight because of where they queue everyone in front of all of these cute Ghostbusters houses. So I didn't get to get good imagery of them, but I will, I yeah. will. So there are two different um, sort of kiosks here, but they all order from the same end. We went ahead and got, what did we get? What is this one? Here we go. This is Slimer's Korean Corn Dog, which is a Korean Corn Dog with Fritos coated with Cheeto powder. So it looks like regular cheese Cheetos, ghost pepper spice, sage derby cheese, and mozzarella. And so it's huge. That is huge. It's quite a bit in there. Wow, that looks like something. You go ahead first bite on that because last year I got the cordyceps super bite and you were you're still upset that you didn't get the cheese. I'm still angry. Have anyway, it. have at it. All right, let's see. Wow, it's heavy. Oh yeah, right. It looks Jesus. heavy. Okay. Now, I don't worry about burning my mouth, but. Well, I don't. Think, I don't. Think. All right. Yeah. Let me see Thanks. inside. Oh, uh, down in there. There's the cheese. Cheese down in there. So. I don't think I got cheese in that one either. Yeah. <laughs> the challenge you eat on there this was stuff. A like all bready. Yeah. It's it like was just a big mouthful of bready. So far, not good. Well, you, you, you. There was, there was a dent in it that you had yeah. to get to the cheese. Now there's going to be cheese. Let me try this here. Hey. Oh, oh. cheese! Uh, okay. No. Did the skins in? Don't like it. No. It's like all bread. It's like all fried bread, burritos. Yeah. Just not enough of. Oh. Yeah. That's a bummer. Okay, I'm very lucky. I have this adorable. Look how cute he is. Yeah, we watched him get roasted. Oh, it was so great. Right I mean, before he's just our adorable. Eyes. I think they could roast him even a little bit more, but I will say it's so hot out right now. He's definitely gushy. Oh, wow. I mean, he was already mushy. Ooh, that's like a quality marshmallow. It's a high quality, fresh from a marshmallow tree. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes they just, it has like a lot of good flavor to it. Like marshmallow flavor, but also a little buttery. Okay. The chocolate's melting, I think, simply from the hot weather. But it's I think you hot. eat it with your, you know, eat it with your fingers. It looks like just a classic good s'more, chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker. That's a good Really one. tough to go wrong. Mmm, this is fantastic. It just scares like, us. Like, um, scare zones are about to start. They got the fog going on. They're starting. Fog? I see fog! I we see the, the first fish fog of the year. Of the fog. Right behind Manny. Anyway, this is delicious. Like, this is the hit of the year. It's simple. You can't miss. Hit it's of got the, year, the novelty just of got it. started. No, but I mean, think about it. Like, everybody's going to want this. Everybody's going to have a picture with it. If, unless you're allergic to it, you're going to love it. Like, it's fantastic. It really is. Nice. The, the graham cracker is a little bit... Um, stale? I, I don't know if I would say stale. It's not like crispy. Brittle? Like No, it's like it's absorbed a lot of the humidity in the ah, air. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's been out. But not stale, like, like out forever. You know, But it's actually kind of nice because it breaks away really nicely. This chocolate is, like, melting. Okay, is it like Hershey? It looks like standard Hershey's. It is. It's a, um, what you would find in a, in a s'more. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's simple. Yeah. Oh, it's this like, guy's outfit is like damn. amazing. You got the whole thing going on. This will make up for your Korean corn dog. That's tasty, right? It is tasty. What a fun, creative idea. It really is. I mean, they got it's the shaking down right. They, you know, it looked just like it looks in the pictures. And I like, think each marshmallow man is hand carved. <laughs> I don't know how they do it.
Abbott's Farm Corn Chowder Creamy Stew with Shrimp, Corn, and Vegetables. So, there you go. It looks good. They dressed scallions on top individually. Uh, it's pretty thick, so I'm going to get a spoon. I, I mean, a fork. I got a spoon and a fork, but I'm going to try it with a fork. Yeah. Now, the photo, it, it looked very. Um, this looks a little bit creamier, but okay. I mean, it's a chowder, so that's what you expect. Let's see if I can get a piece of potato. I tell you what, it looks good. Mm. It's wild to think of eating chowder in this hot weather of August here in Florida, but. Wow. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, do we have redemption from the Ghostbusters? I think so. That's got a really good blend of flavors. It's very hearty. It's like sticky rib type chowder. And there's a bit of a flavor journey in there with the sweet corn, the creamy of the chowder. And then there's something citrusy in there. It's very surprising. Ooh, it's nice. kind of nice. So Pops bright, it in. It up. And the shrimp is it's good it's well you know it's a well cooked shrimp nothing extraordinary about it but they didn't ruin it so it's really good that's fantastic oh, i so think you'll like it you get a bite of the citrus pop in there oh yeah i'm sure you're i'm gonna, gonna like it because i love love corn chowder all right you're i mean gonna love they're it. gonna have to ruin it for me for me to not like it so there let's see these are millbrook's baked beans and they are quietly cooked baked beans with mashed potatoes cheddar cheese and a cornbread muffin. The baked beans themselves are sweeter beans. They're not really barbecue. Well, which is great, but but the um, the mashed potatoes with it. And then a little of the cornbread. It's just delicious. It's just like basic good. Like you're just like, yes, give me more of that. It's amazing. Yeah, it's totally good. So this eclair is a wooden board eclair. So that's kind of the chocolate yeah. board looking with the steak in it. Um, spicy dark chocolate pastry, cream filled eclair dipped in chocolate ganache with a bloody chocolate plank. Going in, going in. That's really good. Wow, okay. You're yeah. not a big chocolate person. Mm, it's very good. And I'm going to say something I never say. Uh oh. The icing is delicious. What? I don't think I've ever said that. But it's like a, it is like a, um, like a ganache, like a nice coating. It's a chocolate ganache. It's very good. And then you get into it and the um, pastry, the pastry is really nice, but the filling is cold and fresh. It's like this nice little juxtaposition, and then all that blends together really well. I didn't get any spice from it, but I don't even care because it's really good. Now I did take the plank chocolate off the top because, dang, that's a lot of chocolate. But yeah, I think this is amazing. If you're a chocolate fan, you're gonna go crazy for this one. It's really good. Here we go with some pumpkin guts. Very cool. Slightly, not gonna lie, slightly disappointed because it is, does not match the photo that they yeah, put on. It looks like it's a full board. Yeah, it's the acorn the squash. I mean, I was wondering, I'm like, how are they gonna have that many acorn squash? Because that's like a lot of people. Um, however, it still looks very, very good. It smells good. Excited to try this. And then when I was up there, I said, okay, this looks cute. This is the little what, goblin pie. It's a little apple pie with Double cinnamon pie. sugar, a little raspberry jelly sauce. Blood raspberry jam. Blood, excuse me? Blood raspberry jam. Oh, well, I'm, of course, of course, right? You gotta have it. And we, we did go ahead and get, I know we talked about it already, but loving the uh, the IPA here. Yeah, it's a special What's it called? Crooked a can, bloody, murder? bloody murder IPA. So yeah, it's nice. It's good. It's from Crooked Can, which we love the uh, high stepper IPA. So this is a little more citrusy. I don't Lower hate that hops, in this heat. But it's a good it's a good IPA. Yeah, I feel like it has a nice hop um, component to it. But also it's not heavy 
you know, walking around right. in this heat. That's not pleasant. That's not a pleasant thing. So we're going to give these a try and uh, right. see what we think. Let's go. So it's got butternut squash and zucchini noodles with a uh, vegan butter oh, and acorn okay. squash. So this is a totally vegan option. Yes. And no vegans were harmed. No vegans were harmed in the making of this. Of this? Okay, very good, very good. It just screams fall. Oh, it does. Like yeah, autumn, oh, right? I love zucchini noodles too. You do? That's a lot of zucchini noodles. Right. Wait, that's, is, wait, you need that's to, like half the thing. You, that's all the zucchini noodles, just like that. I said I love them. I know, but like you, you're going to be like, well, it's very first. zucchini forward. I'll be like, yo, because you ate a mouthful of zucchini. All right. Yeah, that is good. Oh, really? That is good, yeah. I mean, it's like exactly what you expect, what it looks like. They're just the livers. It's kind of the lighter noodle, the zucchini noodle is a softer, fresh type vegetable noodle so it's really good nice buttery little okay. touch to it um there's a little bit of bitterness i don't know if it's from the beer or from the acorn but yeah. it's nice so next i'm gonna try this goblin pie be careful it might be like molten Ooh. lava on the inside i'm so glad i got this oh yeah oh this is a heaven all day long Mm. Wow. All right, this is like little tiny chopped up minced apples in that perfect cinnamon sugar apple pie filling jelly, if you will. And it perp it's so crisp. It, like, it's just perfectly, the crispness just pops when your teeth hit it. And then it's covered in like, like a cinnamon sugar, but it's like, like churro cinnamon sugar. Ooh. Like that fine, oh, this is heavy. You get a little bit of that raspberry, the sauce. It is an honor to receive such thought. Yeah. Come forth, come forth, and receive your glorious gift. Let the pain soak in and wash over. It is mine and yours alike to command. Take your power within and rise up. Tie the ropes of it tighter, tear the flesh from the bone, and snap the limbs of anyone who dares to defy. Our king and queen present with We all are instrument of torture. We the victim to the law. Can't get enough of it tonight. So good. Breathe in the scent of delicious milk, my queen, on your mind. Never was there such a good world as My king.
So over here on the back side of La Bamba and where the bar for La Bamba is, right before that scare zone near the like kind of diagonal from Mel's Die-In, this has been for us the best. And they've been doing a Mexican theme here for years now um, for obvious reasons, but like it, it's always hit hard over here. Like they do, the food they... has been consistent. And more importantly, consistent from year to year, but more importantly, consistent throughout the HHN season. Yeah. Which they is do not the job. case for a lot of the booths yeah, that I've seen at. Year, year after year. There, I mean, like, there's a reason why this booth is our absolute yeah. favorite, and there's a reason why we didn't do it first. Right. Yeah. Because, like, we tried the. Uh, novelty type food, but we've got some really good stuff with fish and chips. Uh, I am excited for this. We had some good eats earlier, walking around for a bit, um, worked up a bit of a hunger. So I'm excited to see what my eyebrows have to say about this. Yes. Uh, lots this, of good this stuff is here. Be good. I don't know where to start. I, I think we should probably start with chicken. Manny's saying the chicken, and I got to tell you what. You could have picked any of them, and I would have been equally excited. So right, I'm gonna dig in. let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, make sure you get a good like that end yeah. piece. I don't know if there's a lot of chimichurri on that end piece, but oh, I think there's. All you have to say is chimichurri, and I'm like, let's go. Oh, did you see that chicken? Oh wow. What do the eyebrows say? Mm. They look pretty happy. I know that's a big skewer of a chicken tender, but that was a big meaty bite. It cooked really well. I mean, the interior was soft and tender. Uh, the chimichurri got a really good depth of flavor in it. I'm so good. That's very good. You had an immediate reaction of oh. like joy. It's chimichurri. Yes. It hits your tongue and you're just like, oh baby, let's go. When you get a really good chicken skewer or any meat skewer and it just pops and you feel the grill flavor yeah. you hit, you, and it hits all the notes of that, this does that for me. And then the, chick, the chimichurri kicks in uh, really well. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. So this is a win. So just kind of take a side, uh, saddle, side saddle. Side saddle with all the chimichurri. Okay, here we go. I'm very curious to see what you think. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? It's really good. Oh my God. Don't even eat anywhere else. <laughs> I know, uh, seriously. We found it, just come here. And that's what we would do year after year. Last year they had a walking taco. We'd oh. come in straight here, they do get the walking taco. Again, it's not at this food. They do have it. Let me just tell you, before I even tasted the chimichurri, the tenderness of that chicken, Yeah. and it tasted literally like I was in my like backyard and you just grilled it. Like that, that I like, for real, it just tastes like, it does not taste mass produced. I'm not getting I know. reception vibes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like mass produced chicken. Yeah, and we grabbed it a bit, a bit ago and we've been gum flapping a little bit. So good. I, I think we may have started with the winner of the night. But let's try the other two. Although, God, I don't even want to put this down. Oh, right. well, you better, because i got to have some. All right. This is the carne sedilla with the uh, pork, pork and the mole sauce, and, and the mojo pork with the mole sauce. Okay. Yeah. And the tortilla, the half of it, I do wish they had more tortilla, because I can tell right now. Oh, there's way more, way more stuff meat, than there is tortilla. Which, it's actually a really good problem to have. I, I think you're right. That's definitely the problem we all want to have. There are worse things in life. Yeah. So. I really like that. Why am I not surprised? That is very good. And I agree. The mole scent that we that was familiar. The very familiar mole taste, which is excellent. Um, and mole is interesting because it has like very it's got a deep flavor yeah you have a initial hit and then you've got kind of a flavor that unfolds it starts getting into a little bit of chocolate in. yeah flavor it's not sweet but you can tell it's there 
and uh, just kind of holds really nicely. Complements the pork, which is cooked very well. Uh, it's excellently, I should say. Um, and then the tortilla is nice and soft. Good corn tortilla. Just really, really good. Very good. Just sort of like a nice grab, make your own, gobble it up. Yeah, I do. I, I, I like I said, it's how you do. I wish we had another tortilla, but. Yeah. Be nice if you could order an extra tortilla. Because you're going to end up eating a lot of it with just like your fork, which is fine. Which is okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it'll go down smooth. Alright, so this is a tostada, so you know you've got like a hard, hard, hard tortilla. Yep. Hummus. Yeah, hummus, cheese. Beets, beet tartare. Which is interesting. I'm wondering, I mean, is that. So that means it's not pickled or anything? I don't know. Or it just means it's not cooked. The only thing I know about it is it beats its tartar. I don't think you eat beets tartar. That's delicious. It's completely different than the other two dishes in that it's fresh, it's bright, it's hummus, it's a crisp tortilla. The beets are not dominating, they're complementing a really nice hummus. A very fresh, yummy hummus. Wow, that's interesting. You've got the cheese on here. It's a vegan cheese that has a great flavor. It's very smooth, fresh herbs. It's a vegan feta or just feta? I think it's a, ve oh, it's a vegan feta. I mean, this okay. is a vegan dish. You get the beets more in the breath than on the palate. Oh. Very good. They're tender, sweet, very good. This is great, it's hot out. You know, it's like it's cool, it's fresh, fresh and it's a little light, maybe. It's, exactly, it's light. But sometimes you're just like, you know, I need to eat, but dang, it's hot and I'm exhausted, or you know, it's humid. This is like that perfect thing for that type of weather. Okay, so we are over here at the terrible triplets. What's it called? The treacherous triplets? I can't remember, but we are over here at the You're Invited birthday party um, food booth. And they've got a cheeseburger, a bloody goodie bag, and then a slasher siblings sweet sampler. We're going to go with the cheeseburger. Seems like the uh, most interesting one. Of them all, although the, the bloody goodie bag does sound does sound quite fascinating, but you can also get a nice flight of three daughters, which is a local brewery. Yeah. So here we have the birthday slider. Looks like sort of like a cheese. It's sort of like an Asiago bun, double cheese. Um, I think it has a dill aioli. Some tomatoes, onion, triplets of terror. The triplets, triplets of, terror. of terror. Thank you, Annabella. So this is from the triplets of terror this house. Super cheesy. Yeah, and I gotta tell really you, good. it's hot. I can feel the heat on the bottom of the plate, and it is heavy. I know. I wish we were able to cut it in half to really kind of take a look at what's inside. But let me tell you, uh, Universal is out of knives and napkins. How do you run into knives? Isn't that like the least popular utensil? Anyway. And he's restacking it. Okay. It does look great. Sorry the light's so blue, we're over here, it's just very blue area. Really? Yeah. 
Wow, I'm impressed because I would have undersold it. I really would have. I didn't have high expectations. I agree with your expectations, but I really like how cheesy it is. Like the Asiago bun, the extra cheese, lettuce tomato on it. It's just a simple, well done cheeseburger. Very cheesy. Really good. I really, that was really good. So we mentioned when we were over at the Monstros um, booth that they used to have last year, they had a really great walking taco. This is where you're going to find it now. It's going to be over at Slaughter Cinema, which is going to be right over here outside of Springfield, in between Springfield and when you're heading over to the new um, DreamWorks land. So um, they do have it. They have the vegan as well as the regular. They, to me, it looks like I've seen folks with it. It looks exactly the same as last year's. Really, really good and a value for the price because it is an enormous serving on that. So. Another HHN opening night in the books. In the books, year 33. Love, love, love this event. I'm exhausted. Yeah, it was a good quite... day, long day. <laughs> yes. Highlights of the night for sure. What was your favorite thing? Whoa, I don't know. Really? Well, I mean, the uh, Cafe La Bamba, which was the chicken skewer with the chimichurri, win of the night for sure. I gotta admit something. After we finished filming, we, we got another one. Yeah. For exactly. Annabella, she just was like, can I have another? Like, it was that good. It was, it was really, really that good. That so, was the hit of the night. Yeah, I think that was hands down hit of the night. However, there were a lot of shining stars in the night. We got that burger, which we were really yeah, surprised by for the by birthday the party for the triplets. That was very good. That was excellent. Really, really good tasty. Burger. Solid burger. I love that little goblin pie. That little apple pie. It's you just, liked it more than I did. I don't know why. I thought it was delicious. It like hit everything I wanted it to hit. And it, I really, really enjoyed it. That was really, really good. Also, right when we got here, right when we arrived, we went in and we got that the fish the fish and chips. Oh yeah, fish and chips. And, and the falafel. Really they were both really, really great. You know, really good substantial things to get to eat. All of our drinks tonight were fantastic. We are gonna be back this weekend. We're excited about it. We're also gonna come back and actually stay on property. Check that out. We're excited to share with that with you guys. Also some like little food things over in the resorts. Thank you so much for coming along, guys. Do all the things. Yeah, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you can. Support us, guys, we need it. Anyway, have a great night. Happy Halloween to you and your family. Yes. Happy Halloween. Yes, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.